Yeah, so I, I started I started the game because um, I wanted to increase the interaction with between me and the students, and I, I felt that one of the easiest ways for me to do it was to, to learn learn their names and make them feel like they weren't just another number in, in a big class. Um, it's definitely a great way to get to know people in your program, and he goes around, you know, um, saying your last name, your nicknames. Like it's it's definitely an enjoyable experience. Something I'll always remember. I. As I said, I'm pretty focused when I do it, so I don't know a lot that goes around, but I, I do hear constantly, I, I can't believe he knows this, I can't believe this is happening kind of, kind of thing, which is, which is fun for me. Um, and a lot of times I know more about the student that, um, or, I, or I explain off and on as I go through how I remember your name. Yours was easy because I have a cousin who has a name the same as yours, or um, you know, you always wore this, which helped me, you know, so, um, and the reaction afterwards, of course, when I got them all was a big, big round of applause, and, and I've, I've received many emails, actually, since yesterday, uh, thanking me for the whole thing and thinking how, how, how cool it was. Um, I, th I thought it was really impressive, like, no, I, like, I know half the class didn't even talk to him or anything the whole semester, so it's kind of hard to figure out how he memorized all of us. It made me feel motivated to study for the final exam, because like, he did all that by himself with like word association, like figuring out how to connect people to certain things that they like, say they wear, how they look or stuff, figure out their names. They realize coming in here now that it's going to be a tough transition. They're, they're told that, they know it from all the interactions we have with them in the high schools. Uh, they hear it's getting tougher and tougher, and, and it means more because it costs a lot of money to be here. Um, they're also told this in high school. We find that they're told by guidance counselors and their teachers that we're in big programs uh, when they went through and no one ever knew who I was, and that's going to be the same for you. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that we pride ourselves on here is that it is a family, and we will get to know you, and you can't really hide even if you wanted to, even in a big class. it's. Um, you know, and some people are shocked that I know their name before we've even had a conversation. Um, but it makes them feel pretty, pretty good. And if that little thing I can do to keep them coming back here and enjoying the program, then um, I'm glad to do it. Yeah, so the reason why I think the name game is so important is uh, it gets, uh, it gets the Dr. Andrews on more of a personal level with all of his students. It allows him to get to know them more, and uh, it shows that he actually cares about his students, you know. and. Uh, as for next year, the reason why I, th I think he should is, uh, you know, just for the reasons mentioned, that uh, it gets him on more of a personal level with the students, and uh, it shows him that he cares and, and, and things like that, you know. Yeah, I think so, and uh, it, you know, to be honest, too, it's, it's a lot selfish. I do it because I I really do want to know who they are and get to know them, and because uh, I find that with such a heavy course, if I was um, as strict as uh, you know, what I, I don't um, students don't get away with things in my class. Um, they don't get away with using cell phones when they shouldn't be. We have codes of conduct. We all agree on that at the start. But this makes it, this makes it more human and, and it's me working with them to get, to get through the term and not just me telling them the way it's going to be. So I find it opens, uh, opens up doors uh, really well, just by, just by knowing their name. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name